All right, so I'm going to show how to disassemble an Asus Q303U laptop. Um, so it's pretty simple. Just remove the screws from the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Once you do that, um, you might need a pry tool, something thin, um, if you can't get it with your fingernails. Um, so basically, just find a spot where you can get your nail in and then kind of just pull it upwards like like that. So just go around and pull it, okay, just like that. And just like that, the whole panel comes off, okay? Uh, once you do that, you'll want to remove the battery. So to remove that, there's this little silver piece. Just push it backwards, okay? Once you move that out of the way, you can see the whole white piece is here, smooth. Then you just get a corner and pry it up like that. Okay, once you remove the battery, uh, you usually want to hold the power button just to make sure there's no power um, remaining in the board. So just get to the power button and then hold the power button for a few seconds. Okay. Alright, once you do that, you got the power removed and the held the power button. You can see um, the hard drive here. This metal bracket is held in place by three screws. There's two here. You'll need to use a smaller like PH0 or PH00 to remove them. And then there's one up here. Once you get that, um, these cables will kind of be uh, wound like up and down through this. So if you need to remove it, make sure to remove these. Um, I ended up not removing it. I just took the screws out from the side once I had this tray loose and from all all four screws so once you do that you'll actually have to remove this um uh i don't know what this material is but it's like a woven thing but once you do that you'll have to remove like the woven material from one side it's held by like a sticker double-sided tape so you can take this piece off and then you can push it over like that and then you can lift the hard drive out um but yeah this piece is also pretty easy to remove you can see it, it comes out but once you get the tape out and you lift the drive, you can easily unplug this. Um, if you don't, I think it might be caught on something. But um, yeah, so this USB port, the SD card, and these LED lights, it's on a separate board. So if something goes wrong with that, you can easily replace it. Uh, it also has a power button and the volume buttons. So if for some reason your power button's damaged, you can replace this piece. And there's the cable it runs along underneath. There's the wireless cables, like all the other ones, you lift from the back, it'll remove it, it'll pop out, and then to put it back, just make sure you line up the circle with the socket and then just press it down. So to remove the wireless cards, you would take the screw out, the wireless card will pop up at an angle, and then you just wiggle it out. To put it back again, insert it at the same angle, and then just push it down and put the screw. You can see the fan here, it's removable. There's three screws here. All right, and then you got the LCD cable. To remove those, you basically just pull up on this. Um, if it's hard to remove, you can kind of pry on one corner like this, and it will pop up. Let's see. Okay. So put it back, just line it up and push it back down. And then you got the battery. If you want to remove it, you can see all the screws there. I already showed how to remove that. Then you got the backlight connector for the keyboard, the keyboard connectors, these are like the usual. You just flip these up and then you can pull the connector out. Same with that one. Then you got the speaker connector here. Everything else is part of the motherboard so you can't remove it. Um, I believe this RAM slot you can remove. There's actually an arrow here with a little tab that you can kind of pull on. Okay, and then you can kind of just go around and pull the rest up. So there's one stick of RAM here, so if you wanted to replace it, um, it looks like the tape is kind of holding it. So you might have to peel this tape if you can't get it up. So there you go. Then same thing, push those to the side, it goes up at an angle, and you pull it. So some of the RAM is soldered directly to the board, then you got this one. Um, they covered the labels, so I'm not really sure, but... This looks like DDR3 RAM. You can look it up online just to make sure, but I believe this is DDR3. 
Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty simple build. You can easily access all the stuff from the top. Um, it looks like the keyboard, though, if you had to replace it, it'd be it'd be a pain. It's actually held in place uh, from behind, most likely with melted plastic or a bunch of screws. But that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.